Hello friends, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and in this video, I will tell you how much amount of water a kidney failure patient can take. Whenever we drink water, it helps the kidney to form urine. And during this urine formation, a lot of waste material like ketamine and urea is also secreted out of the body. That's why a kidney needs a sufficient amount of water to cleanse the body. But in a kidney failure patient, retention of fluid is a common problem. This retention of fluid happen because kidney are unable to expel excess amount of fluid from the body which leads to multiple complications in the life of a kidney failure patient like pedal edema, pneumonia, high blood pressure and breathlessness. When a kidney failure patient suffer from water retention, water start accumulating in the lower part of the legs and while sleeping, when the legs comes up, water present in the leg starts moving to the middle part of the body where the lungs are situated and when the lungs get filled with this fluid patient become restless and a feeling of drowning comes therefore the right amount of water is necessary if a patient takes lesser amount of fluid less urine will form and when the urine formation goes down the level of ketamine and urea increases but if a patient takes more than sufficient amount of water Retention of fluid happens and the complication which I told you earlier makes the life of the patient worse. So what is the right amount of water for a kidney failure patient? So the answer is that nobody knows the correct answer. Some doctors suggest that 1 liter of water is sufficient. Some doctors suggest that 1.5 liter of water is sufficient. But the requirement of the fluid by the body varies on multiple factors. Like suppose you live in a cold climate. There is no loss of fluid by sweating and therefore less amount of fluid intake is sufficient. But if you live in a hot climate, the body's requirement for fluid increases because you also have to lose fluid through sweating. Other factors which affect the fluid requirement of the body are your profession and your skin type. Now let's move how much fluid a kidney failure patient can take in. Amount of fluid depends upon your condition. First, if you have water retention in your leg, it means your body has an excess amount of fluid. In that case, the fluid amount should be around 800 ml per day. You have to take lesser amount of fluid, but you have to urinate more than that. Then only the amount of fluid will come to the lower levels. But if you don't have any kind of retention in your leg, then you have to take water very carefully. You can take 100 ml of water in a single time and repeat it whenever you feel thrust. A feeling of thrust is a natural. Thrust in a person signals that the amount of fluid inside the body is lesser than the required. That means if your lips are dry, your throat is dry and you feeling difficulty in speech, that means you are feeling thrust. Your body needs water then only you can take another 100 ml of water. Now, now you don't have to count how much amount of fluid you have taken in a day because when we take small quantity of water frequently then there are less chances that the fluid will accumulate in the body because first we have taken water only when the body told us that the body needs water and the body gets time between the two intake to urinate. This way, there will be no accumulation of fluid inside the body and the body will form enough urine to expel waste material like ketamine and urea properly. Now, in this case, the amount of water can be anything. It can be 1 liter or 1.5 liter or it can be more than that. But you don't have to worry about how much amount you have taken. Now, I hope you have understand how to take water and in how much quantity kidney failure patient should take water to maintain the function of kidneys. Now, if you have any kind of doubt, query regarding your kidney failure condition like what kind of diet we should eat, how to improve your GFR, how to make your kidney function better, you can call our doctors directly on the details given below. They will help you out. If you want such informative content on kidney failure, please subscribe this channel. If you want to watch more content, you can watch each and every video on this channel and you will learn how to make kidney function better to control ketamine and urea. 
I think it is time to say goodbye, see in the next video till then take care.